I want to welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about Stacey Abrams, Joy Reid, Tiffany Cross, Brittany Cooper, Keisha Lance Bottom, insulting black men. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. We all know today is election day across America. It's the midterm elections, and we know that someone like Stacey Abrams is running for governor of Georgia. She's behind Governor Kemp in Georgia. But the blame has already started. And Stacey Abrams, Joy Reid, fired Tiffany Cross, Brittany Cooper, Keisha Lance Bottoms, they're all blaming black men. They're saying black men are listening to misinformation. They're saying that Black men should just follow the black woman to the voting booth and vote for Stacey Abrams. But did anybody want to know why black men are not voting for Stacey Abrams? But Stacey Abrams was the leader who co-signed for Joe Biden. Keisha Lance Bottom co-signed for Joe Biden. Joe Biden. All you black women with black girl magic co-sign for Joe Biden. So look what we have right now. We have black men dealing with the highest inflation in 40 years. We have black men dealing with crime that's out of hand. We have black men dealing with illegal immigration when they come in and take black men's jobs. We have all this going on in America we listened to black women in 2020, and look what we have gotten. We got less money in our paychecks. We have barely have enough money to pay our utility bills because of Joe Biden. See, when there's an action, there's a reaction. And when you co-sign for someone and you say they're going to get a job, uh, do a good job, and Joe Biden is one of the worst presidents in American history. And he doesn't do a good job. So you think that someone is going to listen to you the next time they go into the voting booth? That's not going to happen. You have to give someone something to vote for. Joe Biden is not supporting reparations. A party in which black men voted 85% for Democrats the last time, but now black men are coming into their own. They're becoming free thinkers. They're just not going to go in like black women and pull the letter for, for the Democrats when the Democrats are doing a horrible job. They won't address reparations, but they will address Ukraine with billions of dollars. See, all these black women are tied to the Democrat Party. They live off the Democrat Party. They are the Democrat Party favorites. But they expect for black men to support a party that's doing a horrible job. Any man or woman would support a party if they was doing a good job. But every time a man goes to the grocery store with his family and he's getting less for his dollar, you expect for him to support that party who happened to do it? And the statistics don't lie. When he came into office as president, inflation was negligible, which is at 1.3%. Now it's at 8.2%. And we have Joy Reid saying... Inflation is misinformation. Now, we got Keisha Lance Bottoms out here saying that black men are listening to misinformation. Basically saying, we dumb as hell. We shouldn't listen to anybody. These women have gotten so arrogant. This Democrat Party has got these black women so arrogant. That they are calling black men dumb for making decisions about how their lives should be run. If you're doing a bad job, you still expect 
for someone to support you? That's like asking a man to support his favorite team. And the team is in last place and doing a bad job that he should support that coach forever. That's not going to happen. But these women go on MSNBC, CNN, and any other podcast and insult and blast black men for not supporting a president who has one of the worst economies since Jimmy Carter. That just don't make no sense right there. The people who don't make sense are these black women, the ones that I have mentioned, who are delusional when it comes to Joe Biden and the Democrat Party. Like, like we absolutely are doing well. Have they been out in the hood? Are they just talking to their black friends that's in the bubble with them? Most of you are well off. You can pay for inflation. You're not the ones who are being affected by the crime wave going across America to where some cities have become lawless. But we supposed to support a failing president, a failing Congress, and those who co-signed for these people in 2020. So no matter what the Democrat Party does, black men like zombies should go in there and vote Democrat. It's just not happening anymore. You gotta vote your pocketbook. You gotta vote for common damn sense. But these women who have been given some sort of power by the Democrats to basically try and control black men, get them to the polls and make sure they vote Democrat. She's losing because she co-signed for Joe Biden. That's why Stacey Abrams is losing. And plus, Stacey Abrams has an agenda that most black people don't agree with. There's no reparations agenda. When she started running, the first thing she talked about was LGBTQ, women's issues and all this other nonsense that don't make a difference in the black community. Yeah, she started coming up with a black male agenda when she noticed she couldn't win the election without black men. See, her arrogance is the one that got her in trouble. Thinking that black men was on automatically support her because she was black. Those days are over. Black men are voting their pocketbook. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.